Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, guys? It's Attack on Samurai, and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown Live for you guys today. Today, it's DPP Wednesday, so I have a team for DPP this time. Um, I know I didn't have one last week because last week for DPP it didn't really go that well, or just ladder in general. Um, but you know, it's a, it's a new day, new team. So hey. <laughs> And I actually felt pretty good about this team. So before we actually get started, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. Also, follow me on my Poke Amino, and check out my Smogon profile. All those links will be down in the description. So the team I have for you guys today is by a player known as Vey. Um, I think I actually used this team before in another live, but this is another team he built a while back. Um, this is a pretty offensive team uh, with Metagross, Scizor, Tar, Ape, Rotom, and Lottie. Um, so if you want to skip the team builder, it'll be at the top of the description. So Metagross is going to be the lead. Um, it's got Mash, Quake, Bullet Punch, and Explosion, and it also has an, and it also has the uh, Focus Sash on its uh, has the Focus Sash on it. So basically, Metagross's main job is to just get damage like early on in the game. So basically, we're just going to mash things or just quake things that we need to. Um, we could also mash, or I mean, we can quake lead heat train as well, which is really, really cool. And then mash is going to be there just to hit everything else too. And then we have bullet punch for the priority. Just get some last ditch chip on uh, on on the, uh, on more mons, which helps out the rest of the mons in the back on my team. And then we have, and then we have explosion, which is going to be there to remove a mon um, that could be an issue later on. Or just remove a mon in general um, in the lead position. So uh, yeah. Then we have Scizor. So Scizor actually works really well with Metagross because the damage that Metagross puts out um, is actually going to be key for it. Because um, with that damage, it will allow us to uh, it will allow Scizor to have a chance to set up and then just sweep, um, just to get that um, that late game sweeping uh, off in the uh, in the end game. So um, so yeah, Scizor is more of an end game mon to keep around. Like you really want to make sure that you don't let this mon get too chipped. Because uh, if you do, then well, uh, this mon is just going to, you know, fall off and you're going to end up losing. So just make sure you keep it healthy. Make sure it doesn't get burned or anything. And it'll definitely put in work for you. So the main goal with this thing is to sweep with it. So we want to set up an SD and then, and then be able to get on some really strong bullet punches. Uh, bullet punch was actually the move that Scizor got in Gen 3 and was in and is what made Scizor, Scizor today in the current metagame. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then we have Superpower, which is going to be there to break through opposing steals. Again, hitting stuff like Mag on the switch in, or just hitting Mons hard in general. Opposing steals in general is just amazing for Scizor. And then we have Rooster for the recovery to keep Scizor healthy. Um, also, with this investment, it's able to take on special attacks as well. So we can actually take like a Surf from Specs Lottie and be able to Roost that off. And uh, just from other special attackers in general uh, that aren't rocking a fire move, we could just be able to uh, roost, on, roost, on, roost on them and keep this thing healthy. So, uh, so yeah. Um, next we have Tar. So Tar is going to be the rocker. It's going to be rocking double dark with Earthquake. So with this one, be with this one being the rocker, it's actually going to be key in being able to break uh, and being able to get chip on flying types like Zapdos and Dragonite, and also Gyarados as well. Getting the chip on that is going to be amazing. We have Earthquake to deal with the grounded mons, and we have Crunch to ca to capitalize on the psychics, and then we have Pursuit to uh, catch things on the switch in. So for example. Uh, if Ladia, if Ladius wants to switch out, we can just pursue it. Or if Rotom wants to switch out, we, if, or if Rotom wants to switch out, we pursue that as well. So, um, so yeah, that's gonna be Tar's main goal. Um, we have the cut tap berry as well, which does allow us to get our priority off first before anyone else. So if we get below 25%, uh, then that is where the berry will pop off. Uh, then we have Infernape. So Infernape is gonna be the mix um, breaker on the team, running Fire Blast, HPI, CC, and Grass Knot. What I like about this is that we can fire blast into anything we want, and then a dragon or some mon that's weak to HP ice is gonna come in. So we always HP ice on that switch in or on that water type. So uh, it's really really cool. Uh, close combat beats down Titar, and then we have Grass Knot to deal with Pert, deal with Suicune, deal with again opposing waters in general. So it's a really really cool tool for Infernape. Uh, then we have Rotom. Rotom is going to be the Scarfer. It's going to be the uh, late game cleaner. It's also meant to be a um, a bait for Tar, which does open up my which does open up my Infernape slash my Scizor. So that's really really cool. Um, beforehand I actually didn't know what Rotom did. Um, but from what I've heard from a from uh from one of the guys in uh 
in the Discord I'm in, um, I think it was uh, Max. Uh, Max actually told me that uh, that yo with Rotom, you want to make sure that you don't actually have it as a. Or, I mean, you can have it as a late game cleaner, but you don't bring it in like willy nilly because of its typing. Like Electric and Ghost is a really good offensive typing, but at the same time, that pursuiting, or I mean, at the same time, you always bait in tar. So that's a good thing because you want to be able to bring in your ape on the tar switch in. So that's what you want to do. Um, you don't want to bring it in on tar because it's not going to work. <laughs> it's never going to work. So yeah, just always bait with this. Um, again, it's something I have to get, I have to learn how to get used to because Rotom, because I'm really not used to this kind of offensive Rotom style. Because um, again, in DPP, Rotom is meant to be offensive. It doesn't, ha it doesn't really have a defensive utility like you think it would in the current generations because of its typing that it gets with the forms. Um, but yeah. Um, anyways, this monster meant to be a late game cleaner, so we have Thunderbolt to bolt down the water, Shadow Ball to deal with opposing Rotom, and then HP Ice to deal with Dragonite and uh, Flygon as well, if it's locked into Earthquake, and then Trick to, uh, to remove an item and keep that Mon locked in, which, which does open up for my Scissor too. And then we have Latius. Latius is going to be the special wall breaker with Trick, Draco, Grass Knot, and Surf. This Mon is meant to, uh, it's meant to lock special walls in, so we tricked that Mon, and then we can Draco whatever we want. We also have Grass Knot to deal with the, uh, to deal with the water trips as well. And then serve to deal with everything else too. So yeah, let's dive in and get some games. I don't know why it's so loud. Jeez. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, that was very loud. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but it was very loud in my ear. So we have a meta lead. Uh, meta lead is probably just going to be rocking. So we're going to earthquake anyway and get the damage off. That's going to do a lot. And here comes the rocks. Okay, he's not. He could be sash then like me. So I could boom on the switch in. Um, cause not only did we, cause not only did we get damage on whatever comes in, but we also, um, but we also get to just remove and remove them on in general. Um, also it could be a speed side too, which would, which is something I really don't like. Um, yeah, I'm surprised he did that turn one though. So maybe he's not rocks just like mine, just like mine isn't. So I'm still gonna quake. He might switch. Oh, okay, he won the speed side. That really sucks. We're gonna go ape and then fire blast. If he goes into his uh, he'll go into his water, which again we do bait with grass knot. So this is still fine. I'm gonna fire blast here regardless. I mean, miss, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that's funny. Um, I probably should have went Rotom there because that would have baited in the tar, and that actually would have, and that actually would have opened up my ape a little bit better. So. Definitely Rotom would have been a better play there. But you know what? It is what it is. We're going to go in the scissor on the tar. And we're going to superpower this thing. Because I don't think this thing is fast. Please don't be fast. Okay, good. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got rid of the scissor. We got rid of the tar. Perfect. Um, Ape is going to come in here. You know, we could be rocking the same team. We could be rocking the same team. Let's see. Hold up. I think we might be, I think this might be the same team. This might be the same team. Um, I'm going to surf here. It is the same team. <laughs> Yo, it's the same team. How, wow. Wow. That is hilarious. That is actually hilarious. See, okay. Okay. I'm actually not going to attack this thing. I'm going to get up rocks first. Because he's going to stay in here. Because he thinks that I'm not going to switch out or whatever. But Rocks are now up. Which means that for one. This ape. If this is the same team. If we if we actually both have the same Vey team. Then his ape is the same speed as mine. Which means that uh, my Lottie outspeeds it. Because this Lottie. Because this ape. Is only 3. Um, is only 332 speed. Which means we outspeed it with our own Lottie. So what I want to do. Is actually go on the scissor right now. I'm not going to pursue this. I want to keep this for the Lottie. So I'm gonna SD here. Cause this place should be to go into ape, right? You should go ape, yeah. I probably should have superpowered there. Superpower would have been a lot easier for me. Um I definitely should have went for this for the power there. Um, but this is fine. I'm gonna go Rotom now. Go Rotom here. We don't die to this. And we can just Shadow Ball. Because Shadow Ball deals with everything at this point. Actually, Thunderbolt's a little bit better. I like Thunderbolt better. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here. Even though Lottie is very likely to come out though. But it's fine. I'm gonna Shadow Ball. He's gonna go Lottie, yeah. Alright, cool. Um 
So this is good so far. This is very good. Um, if we go plus two, then we could actually, I think at plus, I think at plus two we actually kill that ape. I think. Um, I need to do the calc real quick. But I think we do kill it. So let's see. Scizor. Um, offensive scissor or bulky offensive scissor. Uh, bulky SD versus Inferni. So if we go, um, okay, so if we go plus two, plus two BP doesn't kill that. I need to go plus three. That, actually, no, that can kill after rocks. That can kill after rocks. Um, okay. I'm gonna go... You're gonna surf anyway. This should surf. So, I'm going Lottie. Yeah, and now we just surf back. Because this kills him, and also we get damage on the scissor, which is good. Alright, cool. So, scissor's gonna come in here, which is really, really bad, but at the same time, it's still not terrible. Also, he just let me set up with my scissor, so this is perfect. Um, I'm okay with sacking the Rotom here. Actually, no, I'm not okay with sacking the Rotom. I could just, um, hmm. I think, hmm, what's the best option here? Plus two. Hmm. I can let this go. DHP guys, that's good. Um. So now what I could do is I have to go scissor. I have to. Um. And. Hmm. Ugh, I still don't like it. I think I might have messed up. I might have messed up here. Maybe. Um. Hmm. Okay, I BP. No, I can't. I can't let this go. Gotta go tar. As he goes for the uh for that. Um. Now here's the thing. If he goes scissor right now, I'm still in a bad spot. I really hope he doesn't go scissor. But he might go scissor. He did. Yeah. Um. I got to go Rotom. He SD'd and yeah, he got me. I got to trick here. I have to trick here in case he SD's again. He should SD again. But if he BPs, he got me. Let's see. Hopefully he SD's again. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna come down to uh to this. Um, I have to go for uh for the BP or I have to SD again. But if he goes in the ape right. Nah, I can't do it. I have to SD. Um, let's see. Did he do it again? He break. Wait. He changed it. Um, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna roost here again. All right. Cool. 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 Um, gonna go for one more just to be safe. Just gonna do that again. Okay. Now we power. And that should drop him. There we go. God is us. God is us. Um. Cause. Wait. Yeah, I got him. Alright, good. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Cause plus three should have been enough, I think. Um, yeah, plus three was enough. That killed at that range. So cool. We beat Vase team. <laughs> We beat Vase team. We beat Vase team with with Vase team. Nice, perfect, clean, tough. All right, <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. I'll save that one. That was actually a really good game. It was a very cool uh, mirror match. Um, usually you don't see stuff like that. But that was very fun. <laughs> all right, we have a uh, Empoleon lead. He's gonna get up rocks. They all get up rocks. If it's Empoleon lead, they're always gonna get up rocks. So we're gonna quake here, and that's gonna do a lot. He'll get up rocks here. We can just mash that. Oh, uh, okay. Um, he actually went for that. 
Okay, wait, hold up. Uh, he's probably gonna jet. He will jet. Who's faster? He went zone. What the fuck? I'm gonna boom here. Alright, cool. He'll get up rocks. It doesn't matter. Um, Honestly, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get our own rocks up here. Because I'll break the uh, Empoleon. Unless he goes into it right now. Which would really suck. I actually hope he doesn't do it. He cuts that and rained it. What the fuck? Okay. Um, We're going Rotom on Boom. Because he should Boom here. He might go back and... He might bring in Kingdra, though. Yeah, he did Boom. Good. Uh, Empoleon's dead. So the Kingdra will come out right now. So with the Kingdra coming out... Um, I have to go back in the tar. So I have to go back in the tar here. So we're gonna go tar as he goes for Draco or Pump. That's fine. Um, this is still really good for me. So I can just crunch here anyway for the damage. Yeah, right, because we get our cuts out there. Good. Um, he kills me. That's fine. Um, now what I could do is just Thunderbolt through because I don't think if he's rocking like rain a rain team then i don't think he has like well he, he has to have some kind of electric resist so maybe he has like a pert or something regardless this is still fine so i thunderbolt here and i, and I kill this kingdra so kingdra's dead now um so yeah this is dead this is dead as well so yeah i'm still on the i'm pretty much in the clear here maybe if there's a grass type like celebi or, or shaman maybe but even if it is, I think we're still okay. So yeah, we Thunderbolt that. This will die. Empoleon dies to rocks. So yeah, we're in a good spot here. Don't really gotta worry too much. Bros. Okay. Maybe I do have to worry a little bit now. <laughs> Maybe I do have to worry a little bit. Um. Yeah, he's gonna go for Sleep Powder. Uh, which I'm not happy about. Um, yeah, he should just Sleep Powder. This is actually better for me, because then Scissor has a better shot in sweeping, so... I'll Thunderbolt anyway. I'll be crit him. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> that sucks. That definitely sucks. So I guess that was his uh, electric resist. Well, it wasn't a very good... It wasn't a very good resist, but hey. It is what it is. It is what it is, brother. <laughs> Keep saying that. Love it. I know, I love it too. <laughs> I, I do too. I do too. I love playing Pokemon. It's so fun so fun man it's such a fun game uh starmie's gonna die to thunderbolt all right yeah um, i don't think he has anything to stop this yeah he has nothing to stop this um he gets shadow ball but we have scissor so scissor just easily cleans up oh he rain danced so he's gonna thunder here um we're going back in the road of on thunder oh he pumped oh wow look at this guy now we shadow ball and kill you. So cool. I about to die, bruh. Um, Kendra still doesn't beat my scissor. So we're still good. I'm too good. Bro, I'm terrible. What are you talking about? I'm not good at this game. Don't don't speak such blasphemy. <laughs> don't speak such blasphemy. Like I'm actually good at Pokemon. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> I just I just click moves. And I just do things. Okay, so yeah, the game's over. GG. <laughs> Alright, let's get another game. Man, I'm actually feeling pretty good about DPP today. Like, it, um, nice luck. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not good. Yeah, I, I did get lucky. Oh, I fought this guy before. This guy had a whack-ass team. He had Yuxi, Hitmonchan, T- oh, Bro, I'm spilling the whole team. He had a Yuxi, he had a Hitmonchan. That was- Bro, it was a stupid- <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> Uh, it was Yuxi, Hitmonchan, um, Titar. It was some ghost, I think. I think he had a Rotom. I don't remember. I, I know it was a very whack team. We're gonna beat it again. <laughs> oh, it was Rachi. Uh, that's right. That's right. It was a Rachi. It was a Rock Rachi. And he had a DD Tar. So be quick here on the Fire Punch or T Wave. Ah, I see he changed it. Um, yeah, he changed it. I think we're gonna quick again. I really should boom though. Boom would be better. Um. So yeah, he changed it now. So he's gonna do that. Okay. Um. What are you gonna do? Thunderbolt, I guess. I guess you Thunderbolt. I kind of want to just keep mashing. 
but I think Tar's okay. I'll go Tar. So you, right, right. He was this set with sub, hydro pump, and thunderbolt and and such. It was very bad. Um, we're gonna crunch here. Okay, he's in a DD now. Uh, we're going into um. Uh, well, this isn't actually no. This is fine. I'm I'm sashed. <laughs> I'm sashed. Oh, he rocked up. Okay, he rocked up. He hit them rocks like them folks. <laughs> All right, so we get the mash. That does a lot. We do we get, do we get a boost? We do get a boost. Not too bad. Not too bad. That might die actually. Oh, never mind. Never mind. What the hell? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Watch me get fully paired. Okay, I didn't. Good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep hitting this. We die. Nice. Um, figured. So, we're gonna go into Ape now, and we're gonna kill everything, because he has nothing to really do. So, Fire Blast kills you, Fire Blast kills you, and we punch the shit out that, out that, uh, Dragonite with HP Ice. So, this is dead. Goodbye, sir! <laughs> Goodbye, brother! <laughs> Alright, so we CC, fire, fire, CC, fire, fire! Oh, the star, the tar, the, the star me. I can't talk. The star me is here. So... He's gonna go for uh for whatever. Um stir for whatever. Hydro pump. Okay, we don't die to ice beam, which is funny. So we can just Draco here. Oh never Oh yeah, see, look at that. No freeze either. So goodbye, stir. So we're gonna we're not gonna die yet, but we're we're almost gonna die. Um he's gonna go for like some some wish stuff. So he'll wish here. Yeah, that's fine. We go back into you and we still fire blast and you uh He's probably gonna try and go for the miss. All right, so I don't think he gets his. I don't think he gets the wish here. I think it's like the next turn after. Um, and he doesn't have protect or anything. So actually, grass is a pretty good mid. No, no, I can't do it. I can't. I think it, does HPS kill Rotom? Like, like I'm I'm genuinely curious. I don't think it does, but it should. Um, all right, Rotom, Rotom, wash. Uh, since he's sub pain split, that's a very weird set. Um, okay, so this was like max special attack. So HP ice. Let's see. HP hidden power ice. Where are you at, brother? All right, HP ice does dominate. So this is about to fall over. Goodbye. And we CC the fuck out that tar. Actually, the hitmonchan gonna come in. Oh, he actually changed it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we beat this now with Lottie, which is—I mean, we beat this with Tar. Actually, we beat everything with Scissor, which is really funny. Um. So he's in the calm mind here if he has it. Oh, he surfed. Okay, good. Uh, now we trick you, and you're locked in. You're in the bind. So he's actually a uh, Specs. Okay. So, um. Wait, that—that that might have been a misplay. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, cause we just SD. That well, if he could, if he crits me there, then then you know, then you know, then you know, then you know. <laughs> All right, don't get it. Good. All right, so we win. GG. Um, get a BP twice. All right, so cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. If I do chase on my shelf. So uh, yeah, looking like a dub to me. It's looking like a dub right here, so, uh, yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling fantastic. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. I have this. Goodbye. <laughs> GG. Alright. Not too bad. You know, I really, I'm really starting to like these teams. Like, they, they really have some nice teams. Um, again, this team, this team is fun. This team is very fun. And the other team he had, which was, I think it was this one right here. This one was also pretty fun to use, but um, I definitely fall out like I'm definitely enjoying this one more. Uh, this one, this one is so fun. <laughs> this one is so fun. So, um, so as you guys know, I'm still like trying to learn DPP, like learning more about this metagame as I play. Um, and I don't know, it's it's interesting. The more I play, the more the more interested I get about this metagame. Um, like I learned that DPP is a very offensive metagame because there's a lot of sweepers that just harbor this metagame. Again, there's like, there's Calm Mind sweepers like Suicune, 
that can be a really that could be a really solid late game cleaner. There's also scissor as well, but in tournament scissor actually isn't like a thing. Scissor's actually like falling out of usage in in tournaments. So um, so yeah, when you see so yeah, scissor being here on ladder is just more of a ladder thing. It's not really like a like a tournament thing. You don't really see it there. Um, but stuff like Dragonite, stuff like um, what else? Stuff like T. Well, T. Tar with with DD. I don't think that's something that's very common. Um, but but Gyarados, Gyarados is a big one. Like you always see stuff like that. Like D. Like like DPP just has like three sweepers in the back, and then it has like some kind of like some kind of defensive core on the front. Like I wouldn't really say it's bulky offense. It's just it's just more like offense to me. Like this team right here that Vay made. This is an offense. This is just an offensive team. Uh, there's no kind of defensive backbone here. Like it's just straight up power. So, um, I think when you get like if you if you guys want to get into DPP, I think you guys need to realize that this meta game is very, it's heavily offensive. So, um, you have to be prepared for it. Um, again, like again, I'm learning how these different rules are in each mod. Like again, Rotom, for example. Before when I used Rotom, I thought it was just meant to be like a um, like a sweeper, which it is. It is meant to be a sweeper, but the role it has in DPP is different from what it has in the current generations because Rotom, its typing is, you know, electric and ghost, so that's a very frail typing. You get pursued it and then you die. So you have to play it, you have to like play Rotom as a bait to catch tar for your, for your fighting type. Um, which is why people usually, which is why if you see a Rotom, it's always going to be paired with a fighting type like Breloom or Ape or Machamp. Um, so yeah, that's just a little information that I'm starting to learn about this meta. Um, all right, so this is gonna go for Rosh. We're gonna mash. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna mash this thing. We actually land amazingly. Did we get a boost? Nope, that's fine. We're gonna keep mashing anyway. Um, he goes for rocks there, and we kill off that glide score, so that's really cool. It's very, very cool. So, uh, this is gonna die. Goes into that. Um, I'm gonna quake here. Get tricked. That's kind of annoying. That's a little annoying if I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's slightly annoying. So trick. So he's not running recovery, is he? I don't think he's got recovery. Trick specs. I can still boom though, which is still fine. So um I'm gonna go into scissor actually. Let's see what you do. You actually did pump. Okay, this is gonna die. This should drop. Um, don't have a steel type, like, you know, mag, and I'm good. Okay, that fall, that fell over. Uh, the glide strike's gonna fall over, too. Um, unless they have something else to, like, circumvent this. But I don't believe they do, so BP is gonna knock that shit out. And I should still be get, and I still should be able to get up rocks soon. So once I get those rocks up, then we body the, that, uh, Dragonite in the back. There's definitely a Dragonite here. Like, like, honestly, like, every game I play, I'm convinced that there's a Dragonite, there's a Tar, and there's a Gyarados. Like, like, um, how, like, how, how should I say this? Like, um, it's almost, like, guaranteed, and he just dipped anyway. Alright. Wow. Um, there's only a minute left. I kind of want to do one more game, but I want to see what else is, like, still, if anyone else is still playing. There's still a lot of people playing. Um, but I think we did pretty good for this live, though. Let's see how many points I got. How many points did I get back? Hold up, let me let me refresh that. Let me refresh that real quick. Let me refresh that. Cause 1359 was where I was at from the last game. So that game I just had should put me at 1368. We I don't think we're gonna get 1370. Let's see, come on. Oh we did! Oh we got 1370! Oh yo, we getting back up there. We getting back up there. I know it's not I know it's not like a fantastic amount. It's, de it's definitely not, but we're get we're still getting back up, which is good. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, actually, before I end it, I do want to talk about, like, team building, I guess, a little bit. Like, I'm still, I'm still trying to learn, like, the whole, the whole, like, team building thing in DPP. Like, I realize that different teams, or I mean, like, teams, again, like these, they all have, like, setup sweeping, or some kind of, like, setup. Um, again, like this one right here from Eskull. Um, has like setup options in DD Gyarados and then in SD and then in SD Luke. Um, is that this is actually a really cool looking team. I may I might end up using this team, but um, again, there's just, there's just so many setup options that that you have um, in this meta. 
that you uh, just got to go for, you know? Uh, like, it's a, it's a very offensive meta game. You can't... I mean, you can play the meta defensively. Like, I mean, you can play... There's still a defensive play, or play style in DPP. Um, again, like a team like... Um, Let's see, like a team like this is still like a defensive play style because you have like your walls to take on most of these sweepers in general. Again, you have Luke, you have Needle Queen, which can take on, well, Needle Queen plus Rotom, which can take on Luke. Um, and even stuff like, um, like this Gyarados set, which just, which just bodies the hell out of, uh, Breloom. Um, like you can play defensively around this metagame too. So, like, I don't want to say DPP is the most like diverse meta it's not it's definitely not it's heavily it's heavily offensive i'd probably say it's on the same level as gen 5 but gen 5 really took that up um like immensely um and it's defensive like in in gen 5's like defensive um what's it called defensive tools got better too because of regen um granted regen back in gen 5 wasn't like that common um but current players now are starting to make it like more of a more of a thing because now you see stuff like reading Nicholas and all that. Um, but again, I'm going a little bit off topic when it comes to uh, when it comes to team building in Gen Four. But I think I realized that to make a really good Gen, that to make like a decent Gen Four team, you have to have like some way to prevent setup and some way to really like get your own setup going. Um, so that's what I'm starting to realize. So I'm gonna try again and make more teams of my own. Um, while I still like learn from all these other teams that are here that I picked up from the forums um, but Yeah, like I like this metagame a lot, but it's just it just takes some time to get used to that's that's really what it is It's, it's still gonna take some time to get used to um, Again, you guys know I've adapted pretty well to gen 3 back from when I played it in March um, Like gen 3 is now pretty much my second is pretty much like my favorite metagame to play right now like <laughs> Um, like I have, like I have this metagame like down packed. Like I had, like I know this metagame like the back of my hand now. Um, but Gen Four, I only know it from like I only know it from like a little bit of, or I only know it from watching a couple other tournament games and also again participating in some in some other tournaments as well. Um, but it's still gonna take me a while to uh, get used to like what what's really like the best like what's really the best out there right now in the current metagame um but yeah it's just a learning process you'll get used to it uh once you play more of a of a metagame so uh so yeah i mean i didn't mean to go on a tangent or anything about it but that, that's all i wanted to say um but yeah if you guys did enjoy this though please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe follow me on twitter Join my Discord Bushido Gang and subscribe for some more content on the channel. Also, follow me on my Poke Amino and check out my Smogon profile. All those links will be down in the description on this. Hey, yo, when I woke up this morning, I looked at my subscribers. It said 290. You know what that means. We 10 more away. We 10 more subscribers away from that 300, baby. So let's get there. I'm, I'm really hyped. Like, we're, we're very close to that goal. I, like, honestly... I never thought I would even get like this far, um, but you know what? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about how things are going with the channel and how, like, um, and how the subscribers are just like rank are just ranking up like every day. Um, we're not every day, but you know what I mean. They they rank up like once in a while. So again, I'm proud. I'm happy for you guys. I really do appreciate you guys, and um, I want to keep providing as best as best of as best showdown content and like other content on my channel as as I can. Um, again, when we reach 300, I do have some stuff planned. So don't, so like, don't think that just because I reached 300, I'm not gonna do anything. No, I'm, I'm gonna do something. Just, just, just wait, just wait for it. <laughs> just, just wait for it. Once we hit 300, you'll see. So yeah. Um, again, I'm done talking. Be safe. Wash your hands. I gotta have a class in an hour. Peace out. <laughs>